Hello everyone, we are back with another episode and this news update is on fire. Is Holland leaving Manchester City? A shocking twist in the Belanda race. Will England appoint Tuchel? What's going on? Let's break it down. Don't forget to hit the like button and let's get the show on the pitch. Cole Palmer has been named the Premier League Player of the Month, while Anza Mareska has won the Manager of the Month award. Vinicius Jr.'s market value has risen from 180 million euros to 200 million euros on transfer market, overtaking Kylian Mbappe, who remains at 180. Meanwhile, Lamin Yamal's value has increased from 120 to 150 million euros. The legendary Tony Cross is working towards obtaining his coaching license, but he hasn't yet decided whether he will pursue a coaching career. Brazilian president Lula da Silva has proposed that only players from the domestic league should play for the national team, excluding stars like Vinicius and Rodrigo. Manchester City are preparing to sign Czech Tardinetsk rising star Georgi Sudakov in the summer of 2025. The club sees him as a major talent. Bakayosaka will miss the Nations League match against Finland after returning to Arsenal. Curtis Jones will also be unavailable. Manchester United is very close to extending the contract of key central midfielder Kabi Mainu. At Atletico, I spent many nights crying. My family also struggled. I was training separately. I didn't even feel to be a player. It was tough. No one spoke to me and I didn't speak to anyone. I already knew the club's stance. It's been a difficult summer. Chelsea deal was there, but it didn't happen. All things happened for a reason. Thanks God, then I ended up joining Porto and I'm very happy. Samu Amaradion said. Son Heimin's father and brother have been fined 3 million won, about 2,000 euros, for child abuse in a football academy. They were accused of hitting and verbally abusing young players in South Korea. Chiki Begerstein will step down as Manchester City's sporting director at the end of this season. He'll be replaced by Ugo Viana from Sporting. Manchester United found a recording device in the dressing room after the match against Aston Villa. Someone has been eavesdropping on the team. Former Liverpool centre-back Joel Matip has announced his retirement at the age of 33. Despite interest from many top clubs, Real Madrid considers Federico Valverde untouchable. Messi or Ronaldo? For me, it's Messi. I wanted to be Lionel Messi when I was a kid, Cole Palmer said. Christian Eriksen is expected to become a free agent in the summer of 2025 and sign a contract with Ajax, the club he previously played for. Jurgen Klopp's salary with Red Bull is set to be between £8 million and £10 million per year. At Liverpool, he earned £5 million more. Arsenal are interested in Bournemouth winger Antoine Semanio and left-back Milos Kerkes, coached by Andoni Iraola. I spoke to Frank de Jong on the phone. With all due respect, he is still far away from returning 100%. It's too early. He found playing for 15 minutes exciting and tough. He still needs to play for a while and get into a rhythm, Ronald Koeman said. Tyler Young, son of Everton defender Ashley Young, made his professional debut for Peterborough in their EFL trophy match against Stevenage. Nusar Mazraoui is not suffering from a dangerous illness. We hope that he will be with us in the next camp in November, Morocco coach Regragi said. Aston Villa will compete with Real Madrid for the signing of RB Leipzig defender Castella Lukeba. Guard Southgate does not plan to return to management anytime soon. He will remain on the break until the end of the season. Chelsea, Tottenham and Liverpool are closely monitoring Borussia Dortmund winger Jamie Bainoa Gittens. The player is keen on playing for a top Premier League club. Real Madrid has announced a contract extension until the summer of 2027 for 17-year-old centre-back Juan Martinez, who is currently recovering from an ACL injury. Marseille and Argentina attacking midfielder Valentin Carboni has torn his ACL during a training session. Arne Slot has demanded a new contract for Virgil van Dijk. Liverpool will increase their captain's weekly wages from £220,000 to £300,000. Cristiano Ronaldo has either scored or assisted in every Nations League match this season. Yesterday he scored against Poland. 
Juventus intends to sell Dusan Vlahovic if the Serbian forward does not agree to a contract extension with a reduced salary. Several top Premier League clubs are interested in him. Chelsea legend Claude Makelele is close to taking over as manager of championship club Cardiff City. Yesterday's Nations League matches. Here are the results. What a charmer Ronaldo is. Not only did he score his 906th career goal, he also shooed away the security from a boy who ran onto the pitch to take a photo with him. Plus, the Portuguese national team secured yet another convincing victory. Spain had to work hard against Denmark, with the European champions only clinching the win thanks to a goal from Zubimendi in the 79th minute. Now let's move on to the main news. Dani Carvajal's injury has altered Real Madrid's chance for plans. The club is looking for a new right back, with Trent Alexander-Arnold remaining a priority, as he could become a free agent in the summer. However, the Madrid club is considering other options in case Trent extends his contract with Liverpool. Real is actively exploring the possibility of signing Tottenham and Spain right back Pedro Porro. He has even commented on these news. Of course, I'm proud with these links. It means I'm doing things well. If that happens one day, it happens. Now I'm fully focused on my club, Tottenham. Another option for Real is Juventus right back Andrea Cambiaso. Additionally, Real plans to acquire a new centre back. According to Relevo, this could happen either in January or in the summer. Eric Ten Hag's future at Manchester United remains uncertain. The club understands that the Dutchman may struggle to meet expectations and is already exploring replacement options. One of the main candidates to replace Ten Hag is Sporting Lisbon's head coach Ruben Amorim. Last spring, Liverpool showed interest in Amorim but ultimately opted for Arne Slot. Very soon, on October 28th, the Ballon d'Or 2024 ceremony will take place. However, the suspense about who will be the winner will last until the very end. Unlike previous years, the ceremony organizer, France Football, will not interview the winner before the event starts. This means that the Ballon d'Or 2024 holder will only find out about their victory when the ceremony hosts open the envelope with their name. In the past, winners were informed of their success in advance. The favorites for the Ballon d'Or 2024 are Vinicius, Rodri, and Jude Bellingham. Lee Carsley will definitely not remain as head coach of the England national team, regardless of the results in the Nations League. The Football Association has already started substantive negotiations with former Chelsea, Bayern, and PSG manager Thomas Tuchel, who was interested in the opportunity. However, no final decision has been made yet. According to The Telegraph, the most desirable option is Pep Guardiola. The FA is waiting for Pep to decide on a new contract with Manchester City before starting negotiations with him, should the Spaniard become available in the summer of 2025. It looks like Erling Haaland is set to leave Manchester City next summer in search of a new challenge. The Norwegian super striker has three options for the next step in his career. PSG intends to make a move for him, but Haaland immediately dismissed this option as he aims to leave the Premier League only for La Liga. In Spain, only Real Madrid and Barcelona can afford such a transfer. The Madrid side dreams of a partnership between Mbappe and Haaland, while Barcelona believes they can convince Erling by making him the essential figure of their project. An incredible battle for Haaland awaits us. Mbappe has declined his call-up to the France national team for this international break. He has spoken openly about this, and the Federation was aware of his decision. Kylian has decided that his main priority will be winning the Ballon d'Or in 2025 and would like to play for France only in important matches. The group stage of the Nations League does not fall into that category. The stance has infuriated Didier Deschamps, who is considering dropping the Real Madrid forward altogether. Meanwhile, experts and fans in France are demanding that he at least be stripped of the captaincy. Friends, we recommend enjoying high-quality videos from our other projects. They have just appeared on your screens. Thank you for your support and have a great weekend!